Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose and welcome to Thrifting Day. Now I can't promise you that we're going to find some crazy items to resell, things worth hundreds of dollars. What I can promise you is that we will see stuff, we'll do a little bit of learning, and we'll see what we should buy, what we shouldn't buy, and those near misses of things that could have brought in the big bucks. We are at the thrift. They changed out their shelves. I haven't been here in some time, so walking in, I was like, oh, this is different. I head to the Christmas section first. Today was packed and the shelves were packed, but I did not find any of the highly valued vintage Christmas, so there were some vintage Christmas items. Nothing really great for me to resell, but great for those that are looking to buy their Christmas at a little bit of a discount versus paying retail price on some items, not everything. Here we have Rudolph and all of his buddies, but you'd have to buy them separately. So naturally you'd have to buy them all because you don't want to leave Donner, Blitzen, Comet, and Cubit behind, right? More Christmas and Christmas, you can get your stockings, you can get your tins, your gift boxes. I remember these little mice, I think my aunt had them. Who doesn't remember these? Remember them? They were the hit at some of the craft shows in the 90s. You could stick a plant in it or a tree and they came in a variety of sizes. Now you can find them at the thrift store along with all these other items that have been donated. So I go to the plush and it was like a crayon box erupted. These are from the Crayola factory here in Eastern Pennsylvania. And you'll see in a little bit, it looks like someone donated all of their crayon plush. Now at the Crayola factory, they aren't cheap. I believe that they're at least uh, 20 to $30. So the price of the thrift wasn't too bad. I always check out the plush because you never know what you might find. I would love to find some vintage. I thought, oh, a popple, but it's a newer popple, not the popple that I had when I was a kid. You gotta dig, 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 and dig some more to see what you might uncover. See, look at them all. I, I couldn't believe it. They just, I guess the, the kid just decided these crayons aren't for me. Who are you? You are a Squishmallow and you are very cute. This is Winnie the Witch, and she is a pretty big size. They wanted $9.99. I'd have to do some looking and see if she was worth it. I wanted to dig first to see if there were any other Halloween Squishmallows, but there weren't, so I had to see what Winnie would have been worth. While Winnie the Witch wasn't worth picking up for $10, there are Squishmallows out there that are worth a decent amount of money. As you can see here by some of the other Halloween favorite Squishmallows. It just depends on whether or not they're considered rare or highly collected. They can sell anywhere from 30, 40, 50, 75 to $300 or more. So if you see a Squishmallow at your next thrift store, maybe take a second look and see if it's one of those rare ones. If you need a coffee mug, I think I might know where you can find one or two or 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or even 50. I mean, I think this is the most coffee mugs I have seen here in a long time. Now you could always buy one that is Christmas themed, put some hot cocoa packets in it and you have an instant gift. But otherwise, I think we all have enough coffee mugs in our cupboards. Do you really need another one? But hey, you might have a favorite, favorite mug in my break and if you go to the thrift store, you might be able to find it again and replace it, which I think actually a lot of people do. We find some Hess trucks. I used to get these all the time when I was younger for Christmas, and I was surprised by the price, $4.99. Now you have not just one, but you actually have two Hess trucks here, and they're both only $4.99. Much cheaper than what they were when you first purchased them, but there's one Hess truck that you really need to look for when you're out. The Hess toy truck. They still make them now, except you have to order them online. But back then, $1.39 for the first Hess truck. What is the Hess truck, the original Hess truck, that if you ever see this, and it is a decent price, grab it. Well, that would be the 1964 Hess truck, the first one. As you can see here, doesn't matter if it doesn't have the box, and if it's missing the front wheel, you could still get $217 for it. 
Now, if you have the box and it's in pretty good condition and has all of its inserts, 500, 600, 700, 800, a thousand dollars or more. Well, the oddest thing that I found today at the thrift store would be this, the Davis baking powder. Did someone just accidentally put this out? No, it is for sale for $1.99, an empty baking powder tin could be yours. We have ankle weights. We have a used Christmas coloring book. You have a file folder holder. There's even a virtual reality headset, which I didn't even see until I was editing. And we have all of your sewing and yarn crafting needs. Just a little insight as to what this thrift store holds on a typical day. I'm sure many of your thrifts are just like this. It's all about timing. Are you there when they put the carts out? Can you find something that is worth reselling? And I did, I found one thing, and that was on this rack of clothes. The prices are all over the board, it just largely depends on the maker. This was a cute sweater, it had bats all over it, perfect for Halloween or someone that loves bats, and it was by a company called The Grave Girls. It was $5.99, not too bad, it was in really nice shape, and I thought, Let's look it up and see what it's worth. So I did buy only one item. Place was packed, shelves were packed, but I only found one thing, and that was the Grave Girls sweater. I've never heard of this brand before. I saw the bats and I thought, oh, this was really cute for Halloween. So this company, by just quickly taking a peek, looks like they do a lot of goth, gothic, Halloween inspired, outfits and this sweater is completely sold out in every size on their website and when you click on a size it says sign up for an email to be notified when this item becomes available so I think on their website they were selling these for just under $60 I paid $5.99 I think I should be able to get my $6 back plus a, a decent profit you know this is a nice shape you just got to fold it up, stick it in a poly bag or a bubble mailer, uh, make sure it's nice and wrapped so it doesn't get uh, damaged in shipping and it should be easy enough to list and hopefully easy enough to sell. Someone that likes this brand or that loves bats, <laughs> loves to dress in the Halloween style year round, I think would definitely, definitely like this. And I didn't see any stains or rips or pulls or anything. So now I know another brand to look out for. What was it? Grave Girls. And their, their items seem to sell on their website for a, a pretty decent amount of money. So if you find that in the thrift, maybe just take a peek and see. And if it's sold out on their website, you might have a, a hot item on your hands. But otherwise, it was a busy thrift lots of people with their carts in the aisles looking for things probably trying to find some christmas presents uh, save some money and uh, it was there's a lot in there shelves were full but nothing else for me except for the bat sweater <laughs> sometimes the thrift is like that i like to show what actual you know thrifting is like now there's probably a lot of stuff i could have bought but i don't know buying a, a tchotchke for ten dollars and selling it for 15 is, is just not my my forte the squishmallow i thought we were going to have a a good one on our hands thought maybe it was going to be worth 60 to 70 dollars or even more because yes they they do get that high just wasn't in the cards for us so maybe on the next trip if you are going out to your thrift store i hope that you do well maybe you'll recognize some brands maybe you'll research some brands maybe you'll come away with something that can get you a few bucks or just come away by saving yourself a few dollars by shopping at the thrift so until next time have a great day and i will see you all in the next video